Hey everybody, Reef Girl here. One of the most frustrating aspects of the reef keeping hobby for me has been finding a reliable, accurate, affordable thermometer. Over the years, I've had so many that I've lost count. I've probably spent several hundred dollars on different things that every time I get them, I hope they will work and inevitably I'm disappointed. An accurate thermometer isn't a nice to have thing. It's a critical piece of equipment to maintain the health of your reef. My experience with many different types of thermometers over the years has been that they can be off by as much as three or four degrees either way. It doesn't sound like much, but it can make a difference if your water is consistently 82 and you think it's 78 and you read somewhere that slightly warmer water will help growth in your corals so you start raising the temperature, not realizing that you're pushing it into a danger zone. I also don't believe that we should have to be spending a thousand dollars on something to monitor our temperature as part of an overall control system. Why on earth isn't there something available that's separate? But wait, now there is and I'll show it to you. But first, I'll show you a selection of the types of thermometers I've had over the years. Starting with a good old fashioned hydrometer that bobs in the tank. Not very accurate for temperature or salinity. This one is too hard to read and not precise enough. This one is one of three that I have. None of them show the same temperature ever. This is a similar type that also has the time. If you need the time and temp, this type is supposed to be submersible, but the battery compartment has a cover that screws on and that's where water creeps in. What I've done is put it on the glass so that only the probe is in the water and that the rest of it is above the water level. And that worked for a long time until the suction cup failed. Here's an older version of the same thing. This little collection represents approximately $100 worth of thermometers and doesn't include all the ones I have thrown away over the years. I had to find another solution. And luckily I found the Hanna Check Temp for somewhere around $40. Hanna makes scientific instruments to a high standard. One nice thing about this particular instrument is that it calibrates itself every time it gets turned on. Taking it out of the box, it's of good quality and it's well made. This is the probe and this little handheld part will display the temperature. The blue button on the back is the on off button. And it comes with a little stand if you should want to set it somewhere near the aquarium and keep the probe in the water. Two things can be set on this unit. And first you have to remove the back plate to get access to the little buttons that set these things. One thing is the unit of measurement, whether Celsius or Fahrenheit. And the other thing is the length of time the unit will stay on before shutting itself off after the last time it's used. And it came with the batteries already installed. Let's run it through its paces. As soon as you turn it on, the first thing it does is calibrate itself. I love this. As soon as you see the zero, it's ready to go. And you can see here, it immediately measures the temperature. And now for some fun. We're going to check the temperatures of everything I have with a thermometer. Starting out with the Molly holding tank, the Fluval E100 said it was 78 degrees. And now we're going to use the HANA check temp and check it out. And we see it's pretty close. This makes me feel good because I rely on the Fluval E-Series heaters I have to give me a sense of what the temperature is in my various aquariums where I use them. The second one is going to be Mollywood. Let's just see what the temperature is here. At this point, the tank is still in its cycle phase. So we'll take a look and see where it is and whether I've got the heater at the right setting. This tank has a Finex titanium heater in it so it doesn't come with a temperature display. I like to keep my tank somewhere between 77 and a half and 78 and a half. And this one's a little high. So I can see from this that I'm going to have to turn the heater down slightly. Now let's take a look at the XL425. I have two heaters in this tank. Both are in the sump. 
The main heater is a Finex Titanium 300 watt, and the secondary heater is a Fluval E300. The E300 tells me the temperature in the sump right now at the heater is 77 degrees. So it'll be interesting to see what it is up here, well away from the heater and beside an open window. You can see here, it tops out at around 77.2. Not bad, slightly below the range I like to keep it, but still just fine. So this information is good to have for these two tanks, but there is one other spot where it's important that I know the temperature. And that's in the basement for the tub where I keep my salt water mix. The temperature matters because this water gets pumped directly to the sump during a water change. Early on, I learned that the temperature of this water had to be slightly higher than upstairs because of the distance it would have to travel. You probably noticed that the temperature read 82 degrees on that thermometer display. Several months ago, I compared all of my thermometers to the E300 in the sump of my big tank and I learned that there was a huge temperature discrepancy among them and that this particular one was always reading three degrees too high. So now I will actually get to check and see if that's correct. And it's climbing. I was happy to be able to confirm that the actual temperature of the water was approximately three degrees less than what the thermometer display was showing. Another really useful thing is when you're dipping coral or acclimating corals or fish, this is a great way to keep track of what the temperature is in the acclimation vessel. We always forget about that. Everyone says float the bags to equalize the temperature, and then we don't think about the fact that it takes at least 20 minutes, sometimes half an hour, to work on the things that we want to put in our tanks, and in that time, the temperature changes. Here you can see that the temperature in that acclimation vessel is not ideal. I have gel packs that I can microwave and I can put one of those underneath this container to raise the temperature by a couple of degrees. And guess what? I'll be able to monitor that because I have this temperature probe. In summary, I love this thing. It's portable. I can use it anywhere, anytime I want or need. It calibrates itself every time I turn it on, so I can be confident that the readings are accurate. So, I guess I don't need all those other thermometers anymore, do I?